Hello everybody, my name is Al, I'm from Cyber Lab, and today will be another video about Raspberry Pi. Not only Raspberry Pi, but Raspberry Pi plus the NAS hat. Yes, exactly, my hand, I have my Raspberry Pi 5, and here I have my hat. This hat, it's really good because you can connect more than one hard drive, at least five hard drives, and that you can make your NAS system. But until now, only way that we test was with a 2.5 hard drives, what is used for laptops and other SSDs. The only problem is the space, reliability, because those HDs, you cannot find one HD of 20 terabytes, let's say, different what you can find from those HDs 3.5. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna use one of those SAT extensions and that we're gonna test if this hard drive will work and what will be the performance for it. So, if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. So, as I commented before, we're gonna use this Raspberry Pi. The only problem for this Raspberry Pi is that uh, this hat only allowed you to put 2.5 hard drives. And if you try to put the 3.5, yes, you can put one, potentially, but only one. Once that you try to put the rest, they will not have a physical space. And those hard drives, 3.5, normally you can get a little bit more enterprise ones that is made for 20 by 7, and you can have a large storage. But what is the main problem for it? Once that you start to use those hard drives, you need to consider the power supply or power consumption for this. So if you guys come here my screen, I find this in the internet, I'm not sure where I find, but they basically explain what's the power consumption for each hard drive. If you use the 2.5 or the laptop hard drives, they consume between 1.5 to 3 watts. If you go for a normal hard drive for computer, they will consume around 6 and 12, and the hard drive for enterprise, the ones that we're gonna we use, they consume between 7 and 15. So if I get my Excel and do some mathematics, what I know about it is that if I have five hard drives, and in this case I can fit five hard drives, each hard drive will have a power consumption of 15 watts. Suppose my power supply use 12 volts as an output, so in this way the current or the power supply need to handle 6.25 amps only for run all those hard drives. If I want to use anything else, they need a little bit more power in the top. Anyway, my power supply only have 5 amps. It means that if it's still 12 volts, I have 60 watts available. In the worst case or the best case, I can put 4 hard drives and that's if everyone is reading and writing at the same time and my Raspberry Pi is not used so much power, this will be enough, but will be quite in the limit. So what we can do about it? Yes, you can look for a power supply that have more than five amps, or you can use uh, another type of power supply that's connected exactly in those connections. In this way, you can have, a, let's say, a old power supply for a computer that give 300, 400 watts and that you can have all the five without any problem. Have in mind the limitation for power supply, the second thing that we need to consider is the operating system. If I'm going to use only one hard drive, as I showed in the previous video, it's okay to use Umbrella OS or one of those applications that transform your NAS or your Raspberry Pi in a NAS. But if we want to use this NAS as a NAS and use five hard drives and make a RAID 5, let's say, it's ideal to use OpenMediaVal, which allowed you to do RAID 5, which allowed you to do uh, base management. It's a little bit more complicated than Umbrella OS, but it's more powerful. So have this one in mind. The open system that I'm gonna use will be OpenMediaVal, and we're gonna start to chew do our assemble to check if it really work, what's the performance and if it's gonna burn or not. So what I need to have, I need to have my adapter, I need to connect this adapter for my Raspberry Pi, so I'll connect it here. Once that I connect, now what we can do, we can connect the other side directly to my 
hard drive. So once that I connect this system to my hard drive, now I can go plug this system to the power, use my RJ45 to the internet, and then let's see if it's gonna work or not. When my system started to be load, before you ask me why you didn't use more hard drives. Yes, I have more adapters. I just bought four in AliExpress, it was quite cheap, but I had only one hard drive available. I didn't want to break my system to get one hard drive and that run it and test it. We are gonna do this stress based on one hard drive and we're gonna see what's deficient for it. So once that I plug my hard drive in the system, what I can do, I can come to my IP address for my machine or my Raspberry Pi and that I have my OpenMedia Val. As a standard, the password and the user will be OpenMedia Val and the user admin, so I will do the login initially. Once the, you do the login, they will give you your dashboard, they ask to update my system, I will not do it because my idea is to check if the hard drive is working, so no need to be necessarily secure, need to be fast. So what I'm gonna do, I will come here in storage, and I will check if my hard drive has been detected. To do it, if you click in disk, they will show all the disks that's connected. If you have a five hard drives, you're gonna see all the five hard drives plus your OS SD card. Once that uh, you see, you need first to format your hard drive to make sure that it's clean and no data is there. You can format as a quick because we don't want to have this data really clean, we want to make sure that we can use it. So now once that you clean it, you need to do a file system. To do a file system, you can come here and put add BTFS, what I prefer, and we can select as a single. If you want to do RAID 5, if you look one of my other videos, yes, I have a, another application that you need to install to make sure that you can do RAID 5. But in my case, I'm gonna use a single, I'll select the hard drive that I want to do this system, and I will come here and put save. Now they will do the all the configuration for my file system because I have only one, one hard drive it was really fast. But if I have more than one hard drive, let's say we're gonna do rate five, they will take longer to process all this data. Okay, now I'll select here the hard drive and what's the warning alert for me? 85% is fine, I will put okay. Now my file system has been great. What I need to do, I need to apply here, and I will go now for share folder. In my share folder, I need to create a share folder inside this file system. So I'll put as a test, I'll select the hard drive that I want, in this case, it's the only one that I have, and I will put save. Once that you create it, now you can go here in service, SMB, and we're gonna create this share folder. To create this share folder, we'll put create, I'll select the folder that I want, come here in the end and put save. Now my share folder has been created, I will apply again. I know that it's quite annoying all the time to apply, but it's the way that uh, OpenMediaVal works. Once that I apply, this configuration has been done successful. What we can do, we can try to access my share folder to see if it's working. Here my SMB, I can open Ryzen Pi, test, and I can create a new folder. Inside this new folder, I will copy a file and this file has been copied. If you look, the time is 130 megabytes per second, they still 130 megabytes per second. What in my opinion is really good, and you're gonna understand why it's really good. If I open here my Excel again, 113 megabytes per second, each one megabyte is around eight megabits, so I will do 13 times eight, 900 or 904 megabits. If you look for our network system, it's a one gigabit, so will be pretty much maximum my speed or maximum my network system. So this speed, it's quite good. I don't know what will be the performance to put more than 100 hard drive here, but I don't believe that will have so much drop because the Raspberry Pi 5, it's quite powerful. Either that you copy data, I don't believe that they will use 100% of my system to make sure that it's running well. So in this way, we know that we're gonna work one hard drive of 3.5, so we'll work more hard drives. So only make sure that your power is enough, otherwise you're gonna end up burn your power supply or overheat it. So in this way, we arrive in the end of this video. 
I hope that you guys like this video. If you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and see you next time. Bye.